if you go to a a, a, a shop uh, probably a wholesaler who is selling uh, non food related items mm -hmm. they only stock based on the demand that is they're getting you'll not get somebody who is it's it's in probably in uh, in march and they've stocked uh, I, I used to do some side hustle that was that was about uh, <laughs> uh, that was about uh, uh, branding, you mm -hmm. know. So we would only stock items to be branded based on the demand that we are getting, you know. Yeah. And so in case there was demand, we would go to a wholesaler, buy the stuff, more t-shirts and stuff to come and brand. Okay. Yeah. So in farming, you find that farmers are planting thirty acres, th three acres of uh, cabbages, mm -hmm. but they are not sure how that will be sold. And I'm not saying that don't plant three, three acres. Can you do half an acre every week? Okay. So that when you start harvesting, you, you can harvest quantity that can be sold, disposed easily, mm -hmm. while you still support what is happening on the farm. And the other thing, I think it also comes in with ignorance in terms of uh, the part of farmers. Yeah. And uh, ignorance is because they've been told this tomato can yield 90 tons. Mm -hmm. 90 tons times 60 shillings is 540,000. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 Oh, onions to an acre will give you 15 tons. It mm -hmm. can even go 20 tons. Mm -hmm. 20 tons times 60 shillings, that's 1.2 million shillings times 4 acres. Yeah. Then you can't sell. Mm -hmm. Then, apart from selling, also the quality of the produce that has been overproduced a big chunk of it is not marketable in terms of uh, it's not grade one. Yeah. All right. Now, um, the thing of food waste, food loss is not a thing of yesterday. It's not a thing uh, we've seen yesterday. It's something which has been happening, happening over and over again. Yes. Uh, but do you think uh, maybe what are some of the mitigation measures maybe you think we can uh, play along with to reduce this wastage? Najua tumetoka kwa musimu wa siyasa. Absolutely. Na kuna hatu walikuwa nasema tuambiani ukweli. Yeah. So we have to tell each other, <laughs> we have to tell each other the truth. Mm -hmm. Number one, as a farmer, you don't have to plant an acre of crops every time. Mm -hmm. No. You can do a part of it, probably a quarter, a quarter an acre every week or every two weeks. At the end of it all, it, you are saving your cost of production, but at the same time you are also uh, managing the expectation in terms of going to the market. So in if you lazima to angalie vizuri, we see what, what is working well, what is not working well. Yeah. The other thing is over reliance on specific crops for market. Yeah. You know, when I say that I mean we 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 have been told that for you to be a farmer, to be recognized as a farmer, other mean you have to plant some high value crops. These high value cro crops ni kitu kama tomatoes, onions Watermelon, yeah, you know, capsicum, it, capsicum. Mm -hmm. spinach, <laughs> uh, Let me ask you, the list how list much list. capsicum can you eat? It's <laughs> like very exactly. Just, so, so why, why not? How, mm. how many times do you see capsicum in your food every day? Just once a while. That tells you <laughs> that that produce cannot be overproduced unless you're doing it for kama watu wa, wa, wa betting. Ile unasema weka yote pata potea. Mm -hmm. You know, weka tumweka, tume, unasema ni ni kuwekelea. Yeah. Wamewekelea. But you can't do that in farming. Mm -hmm. You will run, you will become poor. You will close that chamber and sell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and thank you so much.